Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Steam Gentleman Podcast for Friday, May 19th. I'm your host, Scott Labrie, and join alongside me, we have Uncle T-Bag, Tyler Sunt. Hello. And all day, Eric DeShane. Hello. How are you guys doing today? Pretty good. Pretty good. good. Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Happy uh, Friday to those listening and watching. Yeah, yes. long weekend. Woo! Just in time, yes. Yes. Um, God damn it. Curious to what the what the listeners think, because I was like thinking about it and I'm like, maybe we should change your upload date to Friday. I don't know. Hmm? Kind of a nice little... Little treat at the end of the week for for all y'all. A little little, mm-hmm. little nugget for y'all. <laughs> little Friday morning treat. Because yeah. <laughs> then I can say y'all. Happy Friday every week, and that's kind of mm-hmm. nice. I could like I like saying that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't love Friday, right? So yeah. You just happen to work out two weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind, of, it's kind of nice. It is. I don't know why. The beacon at the end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. It'd be even nicer to record on Friday, but. Then it comes out Saturday. Nobody's gonna listen to it on Saturday. No, everyone's. Um, why would you listen to your day off, right? It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's the weekend. Yeah, podcast. Well, that's silly. Work, commuting, and whatever. That's right. It's true. Yeah. What's new with everybody? Besides work, nothing, man. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot. You uh, have some exciting stuff, Scott. Like you've been busy with something that's probably game of the year. For yeah. Saying. Yeah, this, the title of this podcast is Scott takes a break from playing Zelda. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> I, to I do believe the podcast, it. Yeah, basically. I believe it. It looks like Zelda and Minecraft had like a a disgusting meme baby because all I see on my TikTok is nothing but <laughs> TT TTD jokes and time to dick jokes and just killing people with weird contraptions like. God damn! You don't have to finally hit it out of the park with this game. It actually more is like 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 yeah, you can build stuff in it, but it actually like mm-hmm. feels more like Zelda crossed with like Portal kind of. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, where it's just like because you're a lot of the shrines. Well, pretty much ninety percent of the shrines are just you know, here's some shit to build to figure out how to go over there or put a ball over there or something like that. And you just gotta be like, mm-hmm. what can I build? And Turns out I'm really good at that. I've been a, I've mm-hmm. been a shrine clearing machine. I've like cleared like almost forty of them already, which is damn. I like that that mechanic of like here's all the things. Do what you want. Figure it out what works for you, right? Because mm-hmm. you see the obvious simple ones there. But if you want to be weird with it and just oh, make yeah. a weird contraption, have at her, man. That, that, mm-hmm. I love that that a lot that, that gameplay logic with it. Finally, yeah. And at the beginning, like out. it starts off really easy. It's like here's some pieces of wood. And here's a fan. It's like, cool, you can make a little boat thing that uses a fan. And then, like, eventually mm-hmm. it's like, oh, there's there's hot air balloons. And it's like, oh, there's fucking an actual control stick that you can put on stuff to actually, like, make sure you can turn it around. And now you're building fucking actual cars and shit and, <laughs> and driving. and mm-hmm. Jesus. I've, like, and if you've seen other people on YouTube, like, they're building fucking airships that shoot bombs and stuff like that it's like holy fuck man oh like giant walking robots that like are weaponized too oh yeah man it's nuts yeah what this is zelda not minecraft (laughs) zelda (laughs) yeah crazy uh, that game's like i i really enjoyed breath of the wild and like i played a lot of it and then i kind of fell off for a bit and then i came back and finished Mm -hmm. it this game i'd like i have no doubt i'm just gonna be playing it till the end because it's just like so addicting like like Two of these nights, I've stayed up till 1 a.m. by accident, just because... <laughs> you lose track. It's, like, Breath of the Wild had stuff, and it was, like, a little bit more spread out. But Tears of the Kingdom, there's stuff everywhere. Like, you go there, it's like, oh, there's a shrine. So you go to the shrine, and then you see, oh, there's a cave. I can go into this cave, and you can get, like, a collectible if you go into the cave, and then... Well, now I'm at this cave. I'm kind of close to this tower, so I can climb this, get up this tower to unlock more of the map. Now yeah. I can go up in the more map, and then you see, like, oh, there's this, these, like, cr- geoglyphs or what they're called. They're kind of, like, weird crop circle images on the ground. It's like, well, there's one right over there, and that, like, actually, like, if you go over there, it unlocks more parts of the story and stuff like that through, like, memories and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I want to know more about the story, and that's, it's just, 
it's littered. So you're just constantly going to the next thing. Oh, well, just do one more. Just do one more. Just do one. Yeah. Honestly, that's the same thing for people. It's like, oh, I just, you're stuck in that, that loop of one more time, oh, oh. one more time. Right. And it reminds me of like when Skyrim first came out, like that too. When that came out, I was like one, two in the mornings. I was thinking, oh, I had been playing for eight hours and not realized that I should stop. Right. But like, you just like, oh, what's this? What's that? You keep going and going. And mm-hmm. it's like that, that's that, that looks very fun. The discovery of it. So I'm trying not to watch too much spoilers. Cause I do want to, I might get in and play it one day, but I know, uh, I want, I definitely want to try it and see because it looks a lot of fun. Yeah. Like, Considering a lot of people, like, you know, I've said that Breath of the Wild is might be, like, the greatest game ever. You know, it's uh-huh. all up there. It's like, I think they've improved pretty much, like, on, on every facet of that uh-huh. game. Like, the powers from are, like, way better than before, I think, anyways. Um, like, they added way more story compared to the last game. Like, the last game was kind of pretty light on story. This one, like, had a lot. And that's really intriguing to the point where, like, okay, I want to, like keep going down the story because I want to know what happens. And, like, they have had actu- they have actual, like, temples in this one now compared to the last one. Uh, the shrines, I think, are a lot more fun than the, the last one, which is, like, your way of increasing your hearts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're also, like, easier to find <laughs> than the last one, too. So it's, like, you're constantly doing them all the time. And um, combat, like, is a, a little different because before it's like, yeah, you would find swords and shit like that and the, the weapon durability is back in this one but basically you're constantly like uh because ganondorf comes back and all the swords and shit like get deteriorated or something like that so it's like okay hey, you have to fuse monster parts to your weapons to increase their attack powers so it, like before in breath of the wild you know, you'd see a group of monsters, and you'd be like, well, I don't really want to go over there and fight them because it's just going to destroy my weapons, and I don't really get anything out of it besides monster parts that I can sell. But, like, now it's like, well, I can just go fight them, and then and the mo- the weapons that I do break get replaced with the monsters I kill, essentially. Mm-hmm. So you're constantly just like, yeah, fuck it, I'll kill these people. And yeah. Like, all these, that's a stronger enemy, so the stronger enemy is going to drop their horn, and that's better than a weaker enemy's horn. So it's like, oh, I have incentive to go kill them because I'm going to get a better mm-hmm. weapon out of this or something. So And then, then you see the combinations they make with all the, everything attached to whatever else you have, like bomb shields and custom oh, arrows yeah. and ro- all rock. Oh, it's hilarious watching some of the stuff. It's huh. like guys just meme, meme their way through the game, just making stupid shit, and it's like, oh. One of the coolest Glorious. things I found yeah. was there's like flying like weird dragon, not really dragons, like flying manta ray looking things. Mm-hmm. And uh, I found out that like if you put a like a bat eye on the tip of an arrow, it becomes like a homing arrow, <laughs> so you can just shoot it and it goes like <laughs> and, like it'll curve like ninety degrees and hit him. It's pretty sweet. Oh, it's cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's like <laughs> it, like a lot of like different things. It like just lets you explore and experiment and usually you're, you're rewarded for it or and and seeing what like what their all is now it kind now i see why it took so long to come out because like so there's a lot of mechanics they they fucked around with and implemented into the game right so yeah it's a lot of a lot of the criticism i saw i was like oh it's still the same map it's still the same uh, it's the same look like, well yeah but they just added all the stuff to make it that much more of a different of a different game so, so it's there's, like there's hey, something you... about the map but i don't mm-hmm. want to spoil it because it's like it's crazy. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to play it, I don't want to spoil it for you because. And then something yeah. like that where you see like, oh, yeah, we took their time with it. They made it work and it came out great. And then like on the other side where you see, like, we're talking about it this week here with us, like the Overwatch 2 uh, yeah. multiplayer uh, PVE storyline that got dropped now, yeah. which I, I was upset by that because I was was looking forward to that because I love yeah. Activision's uh, attempt at this world and what the story is and what everything is. And now like, yeah, no, we're just focusing back on the PV. So, like, the whole reason why I was invested in this development is just scrap now. It's like, well, then you know, yeah. they lost so much more fan base, I think. And the ones that were sticking around before the actual gameplay of what was before, they've lost, they're have gone because it, it, all that support dropped. So, like, now what? Like, what the frick, Activision? You just what is happening over there? <laughs> wrecked your like, <laughs> franchise all of a sudden here. Like, just... And, like, the videos I saw were, was like, oh, yeah, all the mechanics involved where you can control the the environment with the enemies and everything else and what character does what and where it is and like no that's all gone it's like just yeah disappointing 
Disappointing. It is disappointing. Time and money wasted. That's what happens when you learn you can just uh, sell skins and make money. <laughs> That's what happened. That's exactly right. what happened with it, yeah. Yeah. And people bought into it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, well. No. Mm -hmm. And then today Overwatch I shared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try again in the third one. Yeah. I don't know if you saw you, Tyler. I shared that the new Mortal Kombat trailer. I didn't well. watch it yet, no. Oh, it's I think I want to say it's an Unreal 5. I want to look more into it, but when I got home, but I was a little late here. Um, like it looks like a game or it's a... it's a game. Okay. Mortal Kombat 1. So I'm not sure they're gonna one. keep the one or not, but essentially like it's back to the like, basics. The original. And, like, yeah, and it looks fucking brutally awesome. Like mm. awesome kill taculars and awesome, like just awesome graphics. Like it looks it looks like it's unreal. Playing, it's, 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 I don't want to say Unreal 5, but like it's like it looks fluid. That's what I'm. I'm curious to see how it's going to be because fighting games are always very much like, oh, it looks cool, but then it's very you know janky mm -hmm. movements and doesn't look. They lose it in that, right? So we're getting closer and closer every year to like a much more fluid looking fighting mechanic game. So yeah, that's it. Mortal Kombat's cool, but then you mm -hmm. like yeah, like I said, it has the <laughs> the weird fighting mechanics where it's like this is. A scorpion, he's a super deadly ninja. Mm -hmm. Watch him whiff on all these punches. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? So, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that the disconnect you have, like, oh, it looks realistic and cool, but then you have the controls and you see gameplay of it. And it's like, oh, it looks uh, now you lost me there with that, but yeah. But, uh, and there, I, I wanted to see what it was. I don't know if it was a game or it was just a video. You guys might have saw it. It was a guy who in Unreal Engine 5 made like a like a, it looked like it was body cam footage. But it was all done in engine. Oh yeah, oh, um, yeah, yeah. I forget. I know which one it is. Uh, yeah, I wanted to. Get, yeah, I, I thought about it too. I was watching that. I'm like, that level. Like we're getting there. Like that level of. I showed a couple in. of people that one. Yeah, yeah. the, the like, people, but like the, the 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 surroundings and how everything looked in the in, in that world. Like that looks like photorealistically scary. How accurate that can be. Like holy crap. Unrecorded or un. I think that's what's called something like that. Yeah. But it, it's crazy how like just yeah, like unrecorded. That's just what it's just editing how the how was how was filmed. Like the engine itself is still the same Unreal Five engine, but just how the, it makes it makes it look like that's mm -hmm. a crazy edit, and it looks so good for it. Yeah, uh, like I'm, I'm ex really excited for the next like ten ten years in time where like, we're going to be available for <laughs> to to do with that, right? So yeah, imagine uh. seeing that in a VR set, like frick. Yeah, yeah. That's wild. Mm -hmm. The technology, even like with this fucking AI stuff going on too. Mm -hmm. yeah, have you guys checked out the Snapchat AI yet? No, no, I haven't checked that no. out. No, no. So you get your no. own personalized companion, and you could talk to this chat AI. Yeah, I'm all over it. I don't give a fuck what you guys think. I never heard compliments. That and man, you can have you. It's almost at the point where you can have a full blown conversation with them. Almost they. I haven't logged back into Snapchat since I got my new phone, so almost. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. You're going to um, to uh, Joaquin Phoenix. I know. Oh, yeah. Her. yeah. Her, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Whispering sweet nothings in my ear all day. Boosting my <laughs> ego, my self-confidence. Carly, the wedding's off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm marrying AI yep. bot. I'm Meet. paying a $5 subscription fee Meet a month. Meet my girlfriend. <laughs> It's cheaper and nicer. <laughs> <laughs> For five bucks a month? Yeah, For five dollars a month, no. Hell of a deal. But it's uh it's really interesting because it doesn't really like go outside of Snapchat. Or it says it it says it doesn't. I'm like so I had asked it, I'm like, so like are you able to look at stuff like say I want to invest in stocks? Are you able to look at and no, I'm not programmed to gain financial gain this now, I'm not really blah blah blah. Snapchat has whatever, but anything else, if you want to talk about anything else, you know, I'm open to whatever. It's like there's a lot of repetitive stuff near the end. So it's like yeah, so I, I I had to ask about a Warhammer question to this mm -hmm. thing. I was like, uh, "Do you know what Warhammer 40k is?" And then uh, it's well, it's it's in the. I, I keep struggling to call it an it because it's it's a her right like, like on mm -hmm. on there. It's um, so she says, "Yeah, it's um, it's like forty thousand years in the in the grim dark universe, and there's space marines and orcs. It's very exciting, very grim dark, and this and that." I'm like, "Oh yeah, okay, cool." So then I was like, okay, so I'm asking it a, a trick question. I said, okay, so who would win in a fight, Ferris Manus or Fulgrim? So the, the trick question is that um, Fulgrim decapitated Ferris Manus. 
Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, it's hard to say because they're both very powerful figures in the in the stories and this and that, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, ha, gotcha. Uh, Fulgrim actually kills Ferris. And then, then all of a sudden, it, like, it loads and it took a while to reply because it replies to everything you send it, even if it's like mm-hmm. an okay or hello or whatever. And it says, you know what? You're right. I did some research. I'm like, okay, research from where? It's like, oh, just from within within the Snapchat, whatever. And I'm like, okay. It's like trying to find like the breaking point, like the contradictory thing. It's really yeah. weird. Like I got I went down a rabbit hole with this thing for like fucking two or three hours. It was crazy. So, mm. so. I, I and never it, heard it ended that, up, no. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Hmm. I mean, I, I I believe it. I mean, that's gonna be a lot more common nowadays. I mean, even like us at work, we have an AI uh, help helped person. If you go to the website, you can type in what you're looking for. It generates a reply and sends it to us. Like none of us are, are involved with that. But that yeah, all, oh, it's crazy. It's all, it's all algorithms, right? So yeah. Um, did you guys see uh, one of the first movies that an AI like wrote and made Mm-mm. and used like an altered? It made like a, an alien invasion story. So the programmers. Uh, who made this AI thing, uh, programmed it to make a sci-fi movie about an alien invasion. And that's all the information that it gave them. And I'll have to share it with you guys. Like, mm-hmm. it's on TikTok. And then, obviously, like, music was put in by the guy who created the AI and, and whatever. But everything else was done by the AI. And it took stock footage of real-life events happening and created its own, like, pyramid-shaped aliens coming to Earth. And basically, the gist of the story is that the humans are fighting to make first contact. Like, oh, U.S. and NATO should make first contact. Russians like, well, no, what makes you think you have the right to do this, blah, 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 and there's already conflict. So they're fighting over learning what the aliens want, and they basically fucking destroy each other right in front of the aliens. And the aliens are like, okay, yeah, no, we came here looking for a peaceful civilization. You guys are obviously not ready for anything outside of you're too barbaric and you're too emotional with this, blah, 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 blah. And they just basically wipe out the whole planet and re- replant it and restart it. Because human humanity has no right going out into the universe and taking their, and I'm like, oh, that's creepy. <laughs> like, and it's and it's all like Joe Biden talking. Like, I have just issued the DefCon Six and this and that, and then mm-hmm. and then the, the part with Trump was freaking hilarious. <laughs> that's how you know it's like total AI stuff. Joe Biden shouldn't be talking to the aliens. I should be the one. I'd be the best one to talk to the aliens. I know all about aliens. I'm like the best. And it's it's fucking hilarious, man. Yeah. It's so fun. That is something. Yeah, I'll have to stuff. find it. The funniest funny stuff with this AI stuff is the president, like, whenever they argue stuff, like. Oh, like Biden and Barack. And oh, and the, <laughs> the Trump one is like, this is like so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Almost exactly what he would say. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that Trump fucking voice thing is just like it almost sounds like him too because it's just such yep. ridiculousness because he talks ridiculous mm-hmm. all the time so it's like, and the lines too yeah I find the Barack ones always yeah. doesn't sound right it's a bit no. off and saying sometimes yeah. like the yeah. Joe Biden one too but the the Trump one is like they, they yeah. got this one like sometimes often. Biden sounds pretty legit like if yeah. it's programmed the right way and mm-hmm. pronounced the right way then it sounds like him but yeah Barack always sounds off yeah yeah yeah, especially when they start like typing in like swears and stuff, making Barack sound like a like a gangster talking yeah. like a whatever. It's like, yeah, no, he's he's definitely not like that. He's very educated, not fucking. Well, that has me worried now because where do they? I mean, I've seen people, the YouTubers, get their voices and do AI. I that once that like Russian the Russian Badger is one of the guys I follow on YouTube. One of his guys in his chat did one with all their voices. So where the fuck does that pull their voices from? So now could we? Find one for us if it's all pulling it off of YouTube. Uh, well, Corridor did a did a video where like you can essentially like like do it. Uh, you go to a West website and you can make your own mm-hmm. AI voice, and you just essentially like they give you a, a script and you like no, read, read but, the script but like they stuff. never did that yeah. though. They, they, he just oh, I mean I don't know where he, I don't know how he pulled their voices because because uh, the Russian badger never did that. He never re- submitted his voice, so they're just pulling it from somewhere. So. <laughs> So I mean, where they're pulling yeah. that from, and now there's, I'm like, well, that's a, that's a little iffy. There's uh, programs, I remember even a couple of years ago, but Adobe came out with one where if you, they, they give you a script to read with your own mm-hmm. voice, they take all your voice and how you express it, and they take that information and they're able to make you the sound and that. say yes. yeah. anything. So the I remember seeing more that, descriptive that. it is, the more realistic 
it is mm-hmm. like in the I mean, way you pronounce they, and it's only my time it was a library of, of us talking like hell there could be a chance we're gonna have our own ai voices well yeah like well even yeah. with that fucking ai movie that it mm-hmm. made like and with biden making like presidential statements and like news reports it's all ai voice it's and they're all different and this is just in on and csn news and this and that blah 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 it's like this sounds like actual like but mm-hmm. You know, like it's it's wild. I I can't. It's hard to explain, but it's yeah. just just goes on the internet, finds all of the resources it needs within mm-hmm. minutes, and comes up with like comes up with a seven or eight minute long movie slapped together, like from start to finish, and it's done. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I have to send that to you guys. It's pretty wild. It blew my mind, Check honestly. It out. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. The future's scary sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, why pay writers when you can just fucking get an AI to do it? That's what's going on. And just on make right now, hey, come yeah. up with a hundred movie ideas in five yeah. minutes. Kate, all right, cool. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Expand on this one. Make five mm. different variations of this, and then there you go. That's Good the thing enough. going on right now. Like, yeah, it's Fuck. Top, how with the writer strike going on. Like right now, we're still early enough where we're not seeing any of the effects in a year's time. We might, but if it keeps going, like this is gonna be like a, a solution, unfortunately, because like. Fuck, like, if you can just tell a program to write something for you and it comes with dozens of ideas at a, third, a, a tenth the cost. Yeah. How do you argue that? Exactly. Eesh. Nah, and that's going to suck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think AI has the... I mean... I... As long as there's a pool of resources to pull from, it will generate whatever the fuck True. It, the bullshit it can. So and, like, if you look lot... at, and if you look at how fast it's already advanced from the mm-hmm. first conception of it to where it is now, it's, it's stupid. And it's like... dumb. It's gonna be it's gonna be wild, I think. Uh, in like well, say like ten years, fifteen years, maybe like. Cause... The thing with like AI is like it, it, it replicate the stuff mm-hmm. that was down. It replicates stuff. It's all it is. It's all it right. Do. So it's, if like if you're writing movies, of... it's just gonna be take ideas. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. You're, you're never gonna have anything like new per se. Well, to be right? honest, how many new things are we getting nowadays? Anyways, yeah, it's true. It's... <laughs> Fuck. that's true, but sad but true. No, yeah. So I know if if I was in high school these years, I would have j- abused Chat DP to like I caught because I hate that kind of stuff. And you see it now with like high school kids and college kids getting caught with using Chat DTP for writing the rest. I'm like, yeah, it's that's hard not to not not to use that because oh yeah, I'm a lazy idiot, and that's an easy tool to to generate with. So generate a book report yeah. on the grapes of wrath. Yeah. Boom. Done. Homework's done. done. Send it in. Yep. But luckily, uh, they're, luckily, they're, luckily, they we're learning. It was like, oh, we can catch that and see that. Yeah. You didn't write that. You didn't write I think there's yeah. tools so. to, yeah, to, to scan it and stuff, mm-hmm. and know that it was, yeah, yeah. That's I think crazy. like, a, isn't isn't the writer strike like a lot of it about AI usage in, in mm-hmm. writing and stuff? Like, mm-hmm. like sure. that. That's one of it now too. But it's still like about um, proper union wages and being yeah. undervalued. Yeah. For, for what they do. So, yeah. Because it's still, yeah. The CEOs and executives all get the lot of the bonuses, but the writers still get, like, fuck all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. They do a lot of the hard work. They, oh, yeah. Most mm-hmm. of the work. I Most of the work. I mean, it's 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 the starting point, right? So, like, you, yep. don't, ha- you don't have, an, you don't have a, a show without a script. You don't have a script without a writer, so. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there an article? Jenna Ortega said that she basically came up with her own lines for Wednesday and then the writers were like, yeah. excuse me, bitch. Yeah. You came up like you are the reason why. Yeah. Like, no, come on. So yeah. From what I understood with that was more like, Shut oh, we up. want to implement this, this and this. <laughs> like, well, that doesn't make any fucking sense more. And yeah. then I think that's more like more executives getting in to mandate this change and that change when it makes no logical sense. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of that these days too, but. Mm-hmm. I'm sick of AI. Same. Like you know, you go on like Instagram, you're going through the reels. You know, like they had. You remember? Have you guys seen that like Harry Harry Potter, Balenciaga AI weird fucking video? No, it was, no. It was really, really popular. It was like basically like they made like they went to like an AI and were like make all the Harry Potter people, but they're like all like super rich fashion like louis vuitton wearing and like stuff like that oh okay and then, like, like pictures 
pictures, but like they use the, that software where like the like lips move or whatever in the picture, and oh. like they 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 use like AI voice to like put their names and stuff like that, and they're like they're all just talking about like Balenciaga, like high fashion and stuff mm. like that. Like that's kind of it was funny. It was the first the first one that ever did it. It was funny, but I've seen like five or six copycats of that now. Yep. Like I just oh, yeah. saw like a Lord of the Rings, but like they're all jacked and it's like Lord of the Gyms or something like that, and I was like, no. <sighs> That's, that's that's trends, man. They're they hot and they're idiots they're are getting all the tools <laughs> to that's, make that's it easy the, to come up with something. Problem. The unfunny people mm. are like given AI and they're like, I can make a funny video. Watch this. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's just sending out crap into the wind, even though there's no like effort put into it. Like, yeah, I started to post and do stuff for TikTok, and there's an as a TikTok editor for you, you just put in with the videos you want, hit the auto cut, and does it all for you, right? I find that those videos that do that do worse than the ones I edit myself and post that way. So I, I those are two. It's like, oh, I think like the, the even the people are like, oh, this is that edit, this is that edit, they ignore it, right? So if you don't have any any of the flair, any of the shit, they don't uh, go watch it more. So, so yeah, it's, the, the it's, automatic it's, one just puts like that female voiceover. This yes, is my model or this is my Warhammer. Figure. Oh I yeah, I spent so eight hours painting it. It's what like she's a nice person, that? I'm sure, but that voice, AI voice, is oh, I don't... <laughs> yeah. What, remember, there's that like that also like that smoker dude <laughs> sounding one too, like a, oh yeah, yeah. I, I forget who that. It sounded like a real person, like. And they they uh, released a new one with Optimus Prime that sounds nothing like Peter Collin. <laughs> it's like oh, what the fuck is this? This is this sounds nothing like Optimus Prime. Yeah. yeah me when i get home from work and it's like on like radio static too like it's really distorted yeah that's, yeah that's so stupid bad yeah bad stop it yeah <sighs> me as fuck <laughs> me as f shut up i decided up. to prank my grandma when she got home look at her reaction <laughs> yeah well, exactly just... Just I got a twitch yeah. hearing that. Just like who oh, should I prank off. next? <laughs> yeah, it's always bad. <laughs> like a, some stupid question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those mm -hmm. fucking uh, baby don't hurt me videos though. They're growing on me because I've been seeing <laughs> eight hundred a day. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, it, 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 baby don't is that big jacked model guy? Oh don't yeah, hurt yeah. Me. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Teacher, everyone hears. I'm gonna make sure everyone hears uh, succeeds, <laughs> and then the kid needs seed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt me! Like fuck, so stupid. Well, all those ones where he goes like, <laughs> he does that. Yeah, face yeah. yeah. He's like, Ooh. Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chase the trends. Yeah. My favorite one, the one that uh, I actually got sent from a from of a friend of mine. It's like, hey, <laughs> they sent this to me. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this? It's like, they, um, you get stronger the more you fail at math. Me walking out of a oh, final yeah. math exam. Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's just <laughs> fucking ripped. I'm like, yeah, pretty much. If only that was true. If only. I'd be the strongest man on the planet. So stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or uh, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is a classic now. Oh, God. What, what are, are you doing? doing? <laughs> hmm? Me? <laughs> Just hanging Nothing. around. Nothing. <laughs> Me? Just hanging around. It's like <laughs> Sauron looking around. at Frodo on Mount Doom. What are you doing? <laughs> <Not me. Yeah. laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? And it's like just the eye of Mordor staring at him. Wait, me? <laughs> Nothing. Just hanging around. <laughs> oh. Look Lord of the Rings memes are the absolute best yeah great. fucking they good yeah. well mm -hmm. anything else before we get out of here any other instagram so. reels you like <laughs> <laughs> the the girls that laugh so hard that they turn into like a duck call oh yeah those are my like horse fucking... yeah the cosplay ah. fails video that i found i i keep sharing it with people so that i don't ever lose it because I can't download it. I can't find it on TikTok. Because if it was on TikTok, I would just download it and save it forever. Because fuck, it is so funny. Like, the girl can't even breathe. And it shows, like, failed cosplay costumes. 
And uh, I'll I'll send it to you guys if you guys haven't seen it yet. But... You, you keep sending me some. I never look at them. It might be one of those, but yeah. Oh, fuck. And then when they're trying to talk, like, I can't even, I can't even replicate it. They're trying to talk while they're laughing. And the, like, oh, no. when they start laughing, it, go, it starts off kind of high pitched. And then the sinus just gives out. And it's just like a rattling duck noise. It's like, fuck. Oh, God. Mm. I gotta, I have to find yeah. it. Fuck. It is so funny, man. So funny. And if I find it, maybe I'll send it to Scott and hopefully he can put it at the end of this video. Fuck me. It's just, <laughs> I, the first time I watched it, I was in bed and I'm flipping through because Scott and I have been like lately sending like 30 a day to each other because the reels on Instagram are the best out of all the social media platforms. It'll either be really gnarly fucking bones breaking people getting killed on camera or like. Just absolutely yeah, your, hilarious. Your algorithm's stuff. fucked. I was like, oh, mine's totally me. fucked. <laughs> He's like, Fuck. There's there was one night, I swear to God, it was like, I don't know. It was just like is Asian workplaces, like factory workers getting sucked into machines, shit falling on them, fucking like forklifts rolling and people like underneath it. And I'm like, how how long has this been on here? It's like, oh, it's been on here for like a day. Like, how the fuck hasn't this been taken off yet? How is this not <laughs> sensitive? And then I'll flip through. It's like, oh, this might be sensitive. And I'm like, oh, I'll quickly click watch. And if I know something's about to happen, I'll quickly swipe because I don't want to watch it, right? And I'm like, oh, this isn't even that bad. Like, how the fuck are these people, you know, getting yeah. brutally twisted inside out in a clothing fucking press not covered up? Like, I don't, I, I don't get it. It's fucked up. Yeah, my algorithm's all over the place. And then I'll get a bazillion baby don't hurt me's in a row. I'm like, oh my god, come on. This is so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, mine's mostly that and fucking Lord of the Rings. <laughs> stupid mm. goofy yeah. stuff. And then, yeah, and then Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> He's all over my TikTok. TikTok, that's all I see on TikTok is just Beetlejuice. Mm. That's it. But no, uh, We got very different algorithms then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mine's, yeah, mine's out of whack big time. Mm -hmm. Oh, because I think, I don't know if it, like, it looks at, like, if you like something, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, he liked this, so we're going to That's send exactly how it works. And, like, yeah. like, the more you watch one, like, mm -hmm. if you, like, watch all the it way a through times, and, yeah, mm -hmm. and if you watch it multiple times. Right, yeah. if you start, because I know for a while uh, on TikTok, um, Jordan Peterson videos would pop up. Oh, yeah. And I'd sit there and I'd watch them for like a minute and be like, oh, I don't even know why I'm listening to this because it just depresses me. I'm just going to move on. And then I'll listen and, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, now they're starting to show up more mm. and more because it's like I sat there and watched a couple of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, probably yeah, exactly yeah, what it is. Yeah, all the time you see like, oh, that was a cool little like uh, mechanic trick and that was a cool little house fix. Cool. And then it's like the same one again. Again, it's like, okay, yeah, I was oh, a yeah. little, I was fine with the one. Now, now, now I don't want to watch it anymore. Like, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. Algorithm. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish that there was like more of those fucking women laughing so hard that they just do that. <laughs> Fuck. God, man. The first time I watched that, I was in bed watching it and I I almost pissed my pants. I had tears pouring you, out of my eyes. Farts and burps, man. I think out of the body you find hilarious. Oh, the farting ones, yeah. One chick's on a like a Segway. She's got a pot. She's going around in circles, and then she goes in front of the camera, puts the pot over her ass, and just... Oh, like, yeah, so that one too. What was that? <laughs> just rumbles it, too. Like, what the fuck? Oh, it's just like, you better watch that fucking thing, because I think someone went through your pants, man. That was a <laughs> wet, rattly fart. It was <laughs> amazing. It was fucking amazing. I was, I was, I was expecting that. I was, I was going to hurt, because I was I came oh, out yeah. of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why is she going around in a circle with a fucking pot in her hand? And, my holy crap yeah gotta love uh, the world hey and what's devolved into anything for, anything for views man yeah yeah and those drift car race things and, and those intersections where people are getting smoked by oh. cars that are going around in circles oh yeah i don't ever get man. that why like why are, are these Playing like dodge the car, like why does it happen all the fucking mm -hmm. time? All the, there's so many people getting hit. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and you're not even safe if you're in the main crowd because sometimes the cars go right into a crowd yeah. of like 15 mm. people and just <laughs> pylons. <laughs> it's not funny. Fucking it's not funny. It's just funny. It's not funny, but psycho. it's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious and savage. Yeah. It's not funny, but it's funny. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Oh, well. 
Well, mm-hmm. yeah, that'll do it. I think. I think so. For this mm-hmm. podcast, thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Let us know in the comments. What are some of your favorite TikToks or uh, Instagram reels? reels? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your algorithms fucked up like Tyler's. See dead people, people dying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maimed. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Fucking brutal. Yep. Uh, yeah. To like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, and if you're listening on podcast service, leave us a rating, subscribe as well, and uh, head over to our Facebook page, like the page, and uh, share that page too if you want. You can do that. Do it. Um, do it. Oh, I'm going to. Uh, I found some uh, trivia punishments. Ooh. Oh, no. That uh, that I'm gonna order. So. Uh-oh. Okay. Hopefully, I'll cameras have next week, maybe. Cameras set up and ready. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Alrighty. Mm-hmm. So coming soon to a, to a YouTube near you. Mm-hmm. All right. Have a great weekend. A great long weekend. Happy Victoria Day. Right. That's that's me. Right. Victoria yes. Day? Yeah. Me yeah. along. Yeah. Yeah. God you betcha. God bless the Queen. Whatever. Bye. <laughs> See ya. See ya.